when it comes to constants like that five up the top there, um, we do have the ability to actually move them around quite flexibly, which is gonna be really handy for us. So um, because that five is there, and it's kind of not really making things any easier to integrate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factorize it out of the integral altogether, okay? So I'll pull that five out the front, um, and then I wanna think about what do I have left on the inside of the integral? So what am I going to get left with? 1 over x. 1 over x, perfect. Which is just log. Exactly. So you're like, oh, I know what the integral... And then you bring 5. Yeah, I know what the primitive of this is. It's that um, log of the absolute value of x, like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. But then you're like, oh, well, the 5 was just hanging out the front there, so I, I best I better bring that back, right? Um, and then this is indefinite, so I add my constant on. Does that make sense? So I did know how to do it. I just didn't... Yeah, yeah, you do. Back yourself. <laughs> should, yeah. we, should we have a look at a harder one? Sure, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's pick out. So... Um, you, you seem to feel, sound reasonably confident. Can we have a go at, say, um, well, let's have a go. I'm going to pull out this one here, F. Do you see that one there? Yep. So this is uh, question 2, F. Okay, so um, we've got a 15 on the top, mm -hmm. and I've got a 5x plus 1 dx. So what, what's your instinct for the first thing to do in this question? Uh, well, recognize a pattern, so I don't like that plus one, <laughs> because if I did not have that plus one, I'd be able to simplify mm. uh, into basically what we were doing before, Yeah. the 5x, 5 yeah. over x. Right, 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 and you're like, oh, this can just simplify very quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's a sneaky thing, right? Um, you're right to look at this plus one and think, ugh. Bit gross, right? <laughs> I don't want it there. And that's like in some ways, I did something very similar on this earlier example when I was like, oh, look at this. I'm like, let's just break that apart, right? right so now, the issue you're going to run into though yeah, is that apart. with denominators, not so easy, right? So um, fractions are weird in that the numerators and denominators behave very differently, right? Um, in a real way, what the numerator is telling you is um, whatever, whatever kind of number we're dealing with, how many do you have, mm -hmm. right? And then what the denominator what the is containers. telling you is, yeah, that's right, it's like, what are the containers, what's the size, you know, what what kind, you, like you're telling me how many, but what, what kind of thing do we even have, right? And we encountered this like way back in year seven when we were like, oh, a half plus a third, man, mm -hmm. what do I do with that? And you're like, yeah. like the, the first thing's in halves and the other thing's in thirds and they talk a completely different language. So numbers. that's why we had to get common denominators and all that. But you're like, oh, like that was work, right? And the reason it's work is because oh. Uh, well, some people, you know, once, once you master it, you're like, ah, oh, I'm good at this, right? And you're like, oh, it's six, and then off you go, okay? Yeah. So the upshot of this here um, is that this denominator is not easy to just break apart. Mm -hmm. um, I should point out, and we can have a look at examples later if you like, denominators are not impossible to deal with. Um, but as it turns out, in this case, um, I actually can leave the denominator in, in the form that it's in. I want you to think back to, let's go back to the reference sheet for a second. Here it is. Okay, um, we were looking at this formula here in the middle mm -hmm. before, right? So if we can have our integral look like f dash on f, then we're good to go, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's look at this question. Um, if the denominator, oopsie daisy, if the denominator there is my f of x, so what I'm su suggesting is f of x, Mm -hmm. equals 5, that's a very messy 5, five 5x five, yeah. plus 1, right? If that's my f of x, mm -hmm. what would f dash be? 5. It'll be 5, right? Now in this case what you notice is, because I'm differentiating, the plus 1 actually presents me with no problems, right? Because I differentiate plus and just... Two, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like the constant which just, it could be anything, it just disappears yeah, when I differentiate. Yes, top. exactly right. So I'm like, I want, I want this numerator to be five, but it's not five, it's three times five, mm. right? Which means that it's a, it's just a multiple of what I really want there to be. So that's actually enormously helpful to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write this and we'll do every step, right? Okay. As you suggested, I'm going to say, well, that's three times five yep. on the denominator, five X plus one, still on the, did I say denominator? I, sh I should have said numerator. numerator. <laughs> okay. So I've got three times five on the numerator, but because I don't want three times five, I just want the five. So what I'll do is, just like I did on this question up here, I'm oh, like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it out. Take three. Yeah, I'm just gonna factorize out that three. It comes out the front of the integral. Mm -hmm. 
What that leaves me with is five on, five X plus one. And this is my magical F dash on F. You can even see it um, over here. Here's five, here's five X plus one. So it's just three LN? Yeah, three LN. Now, hold on a second. It's three LN and you can even see over here, it's actually log of whatever that function is, that F of X, that denominator is. Right, right you see that? So it's log of whatever function, which is in this case is what? five, x plus one. Do you see oh, that? The whole thing, right? Yeah, it's the whole thing. So this whole piece oh, here no is problem. the f of x, right? So that's why the whole thing ends up underneath. We did these questions going back. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, but so that's that's why it's worth um, refreshing our memories. Thank so you yeah, that's it's part of the job, right? So I mean, it's tricky because we are expecting you. Like I always thought about this um, when I was uh, at school because I. Um, I thought, like, I'm trying to learn all these very separate subjects to each right. other, like history, drama, I did, like, HSC, agriculture, and it's like, these have nothing to do with each other, and you're trying to, like, mash them into your brain. Exactly. Can you imagine if you had, like, some professional athlete, right, and you said to them, hey, so, um, what, what sport are you training in? And they're like, oh, well, um, I'm doing pole vaulting, I'm a pole vaulter. But I'm also working on my archery and also my gymnastics and, and also chess. Yeah. <laughs> Just cause. And you'd be like, are you serious? Like you're specializing. Like, shouldn't you be? And it's like, well, actually, that's exactly what we're asking you guys to do by learning these very disparate subjects. So you shouldn't feel bad that your brain is slightly muddled about it. But the more you consolidate right. and, and practice, you know, regularly, um, it's sort of all cements.